Hi everyone, this is Melissa. I go by Stitching Liz here on YouTube and also on Instagram. And it would mean a lot to me if you would follow me in both places. Thank you for joining me. Welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if you're new. I am introducing this video, but you'll see some progress throughout the week, hopefully. What we're doing today is starting a challenge of swapping out my scrolling on social media for cross-stitching. If you watched my video from several months ago where I told you seven cross-stitch rules I always break, one of my cross-stitch rules that I always break is that I don't stitch every day. And that is because I feel like I don't have enough time to fit in cross-stitch during the week. And so I usually only cross-stitch on the weekends. But someone tipped me off that you could turn on on your phone your screen time and keep track of how much time you're spending on your phone. And it breaks it down into separate apps that you use. So I was curious and I turned on my screen time and it's shocking to me how much time I spend on my phone. Now I spend the most time on YouTube, but my YouTube time is almost always while I'm doing something else. I never usually sit down and just watch YouTube. So while that's the most time, I actually watch YouTube while I cross stitch, um, while I'm doing the dishes. Um, I use it as body doubling. If you're not familiar with body doubling, it's when you use another person or video with people doing things to help you get things done. So while I'm cleaning, I'm playing YouTube. Um, when I'm working at work and trying to get mindless work done, I'm playing YouTube videos that I'm listening to in the back. Um, so YouTube eats up the most of my screen time. But I was super surprised at how much scrolling I do on social media. My two main social media apps that I use are Instagram and Facebook. And I don't know if this is shocking or not, but I'm gonna give you my statistics for last week and they are definitely the average statistics I did not cut back on my usage last week or anything like that. So the total amount of time I spent on Instagram last week was four hours and eight minutes. And the total time I spent on Facebook was 52 minutes. So that's a total of five hours scrolling. So I was wondering what would happen if I didn't scroll and cross stitched with that time instead? Would I be able to do it? Would I be able to find the time to cross stitch if I gave up scrolling for the day? So what I'm doing is giving up scrolling on Instagram and Facebook from Monday through Friday, because I always cross stitch on the weekends. So my found time will be Monday through Friday of this week. And my goal is to get to five hours of cross stitch and I'm going to be keeping track on my stopwatch on my phone of how much time I stitch each day. Um, five hours works out really nicely for five days, trying to do an hour a day. I'm going to try to do it um, during my prime scrolling times. And my prime scrolling times are, um, say hi to the puppy. This is my puppy. He came to visit you. He's very interested in my scrolling. Yes, you are, I know it. So um, my prime scrolling times are 
after I eat my lunch or my dinner on my lunch or dinner break at work, and when I get home before I eat dinner, um, on my regular nine to five days, um, that's when I do my most scrolling. So I'm going to try to substitute in cross stitching. And I'm gonna do it on a new start because I thought it would be fun to see how much progress can I get in by adding in this amount of time um, of stitching during the week. So um, I'll show you the project I'm gonna do. I am going to count, I have to kit up this project. So I am going to count the time I spend kitting it up as part of my time stitching because I won't be scrolling and because I would not ordinarily kit up a project during the week because I just feel like I don't have the time. So um, let me show you what I'm gonna be doing. I told you I wanted to start a cat with flowers and I'm gonna start a cat with flowers. This is Cats in the Garden series by Lindy Stitches. This one's Prancing in the Tulips. It's the spring one. She has four. And this is the spring one. So this is what I'm going to kit up and start for this week. And um, I will show you my progress as I go through the week with this. Wish me luck. I think it's going to be hard. And I think I'm going to miss seeing all of my friends progress on Instagram but Facebook for me has become a huge time waster I really spend most of my time on Facebook watching reels of chiropractors cracking backs and necks that's how I spend my time on Facebook it is such a time suck so Giving up Facebook will be a huge improvement to my life. Giving up Instagram, I think, will be a little harder because I will miss the social aspect of it. And also getting to post my own progress for the, the week. I will post it at the end of the week, though. So let's get to kidding this up and getting started stitching. Okay, so I have now kitted up the project. It took me 32 minutes and a few seconds to pick up my flosses and a fabric. My timer is paused right now, so I can show you what I did. Um, for those of you who don't know, I usually kit up from my stash. So I just try and find a color that sort of matches these colors. What was a little bit hard about this chart is that this orangey pink color is one fancy floss and the grass down here is one fancy floss. So I had to make a little bit of a compromise. But let me show you what I did. Um, so for the cat... <clears throat> I'm using B5200 for the white. I'm using 977 for the goldish part. And I'm using 317 for the gray. There's also gray in these flowers here. The other color for the flowers is um, like a beige. So I'm gonna use uh, this classic Colorworks eggshell for that. Um, for the insides of the flowers here, here, and here, I'm gonna use this color, which is just a no name, um, floss that I had 
um, that I got off of Amazon. For the stems of the flowers, I'm going to use this green, which is um, 702 for that green. For the ears of the cat, I'm going to use 950. For the orange flowers, I'm going to use 351, which is actually the called for. I pulled it out. I was like, oh, this orange looks really good. And when I went to write down what color I was substituting, it was the exact right color. So I feel really proud of that. <laughs> And then for the grass, that's a variegated color. I'm going with the DMC and it is 912. I feel like that's a good compromise. And then for the two borders with the multicolors, I'm gonna try um, DMC 4200. I don't know if you can see, but it's got a variegated orange and pink and a little bit darker than that. Um, and I'm hoping that it works okay for the border flowers. So those are the flosses. And the fabric is a 16 count morning coffee by XJU Designs. It's a little bit darker than the one on the model, but um, I feel like the colors really pop off of it. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. So if I want to do an hour a day, um, I need to stitch for about 28 minutes to make up my hour. So I'm going to be taking a break from this right now. I have something else I have to do, but then I will, um, stitch for 28 minutes and see how far I get. And I'll let you see what I do. All right. Thanks so much. So I got to about one hour and five minutes um, total today. Um, this is the stitching I got to. So that one hour and five minutes is me kidding up the whole project and choosing my threads, choosing my fabric, cutting my fabric. And then um, I did not start the timer again until I had my thread in my first stitch. Um, I did not count loading the hoop or cutting my thread and threading my needle. Um, I will say I'm not used to stitching at night and the light is a little bit of a problem or my eyes at this time of day are a little bit of a problem. Um, I had a little trouble threading the needle and seeing the holes. Um, but I was able to do the stitching relatively fine um, once I got going. I feel like timing myself is stressful to me. I don't think I like that. Um, but the stitching itself, like the actual act of stitching felt good. And sometimes when I walk away from my phone after scrolling, I don't really feel good. So there may be something to that um, that I will investigate further throughout the week. So here's my start and we'll see how I do tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to try to stitch 
a little during my lunch break and then when I get home later in the day. If I can, I have, um, I don't remember, know if you saw my thrift haul, my thrift store haul, but I'm gonna be keeping this project in this bag. Um, it's a laptop case by Vera Bradley that I got at the thrift store. It's nice and padded. So it should keep this nice and safe and easy to travel with. So that is my first night of not scrolling and stitching. We'll see how I do tomorrow. Have a good night. Happy Tuesday, everyone. So it's Tuesday evening and um, I was at work today and I stitched on my lunch break and I stitched for about 37 minutes. And this is what I got to, which is the entire, um, I finished the entire patch um, that's right here on the cat's back. And I started stitching this stem of this flower. So this is what it's looking like so far. So the total I have in so far from kitting it up to now where it is, is one hour and 42 minutes. So to get to, I'd like to get to two hours today. Today is day two. Um, so I need to stitch about 18 more minutes today to get to the two hour mark. And um, we'll see how I do with that. If I'm feeling really ambitious i might stitch a little bit more because tomorrow wednesday the third day i don't know if i'll have as much time to stitch in general i have a different schedule on wednesdays and thursdays so let me get stitching now and we will see um where i get to Okay, so this is where I'm stopping for tonight. I stitched for um, about, well, I'm up to two hours and 13 minutes and I started at one hour and 42 minutes. So if anybody else can do math, which apparently I can't, um, that's how long I stitched for to finish this stem and do this tall stem. So we will continue again tomorrow. And I did not scroll today. Um, I kind of missed it, but I also kind of don't because I'm doing something else. It's not like I'm just sitting there not scrolling. I'm busy doing the cross stitch. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow with my different work schedule. And I hope you all have a very good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hi everyone. Welcome to Wednesday. So we're halfway through the week. Well, we're at the start of being halfway through the week because it's Wednesday morning. Um, I think I told you I have a different schedule on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So Wednesdays and Thursdays, I work late days. And so my morning is um, more open, but I do have appointments both mornings. So they're not really open. And I do have some things I have to do, some routines that I follow on Wednesday and Thursday mornings that I don't want to not do to cross stitch because I don't usually scroll too much on Wednesday and Thursday mornings. I have something else that I do 
instead. Um, so, but I wound up actually waking up earlier than usual. Wednesday mornings, I don't set my alarm. And it's the only morning I don't set my alarm during the week. Every other day my alarm is set. So sometimes I sleep a little late until my appointment time comes around. And so, um, but since I was able to get up a little earlier, I have time to stitch this morning. So I'm going to add on to my total time that I've stitched so far um, this morning. And then I'm gonna bring my project to work later today and work during my dinner break and um, add a little time there. And I will show you where I got to after all that stitching and how much time I added between both stitching sessions. So um, I will see you again soon and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day. So we're on Thursday, which is day four of this challenge. And um, yesterday I stitched before. Oh, hello, puppy. You want to say hi? Puppy just came out to say hello. Maybe he wants to make a friend with this cat in this picture. He's like, I like your tulips, cat. <clears throat> so, um... So yesterday I wound up stitching both before work and during my dinner break at work. And I got to a total of four hours and 15 minutes, which I thought was pretty amazing. I stitched a lot and this is where I got to. <coughs> Excuse me. So I added flowers and I worked on this tail all the white in the tail is done. I started working on the gray in the tail. The tail goes up to about here. And um, so I was pretty excited with that progress and the amount of stitching time I got in. If you remember, I had wanted to stitch for the amount of time I scrolled last week, which was a total of five hours. So I don't think I'll make that today because I don't, think I'll have time to stitch before work today. I work a late night today too. And um, I have an appointment that's going to keep me from stitching, I think. But I will stitch on my dinner break. And um, then tomorrow will be Friday and I should be able to finish getting to five hours tomorrow. So, and I haven't scrolled. Um, so I will let you know how things are going, but that's the update for today. And I hope you all have a beautiful day. Thank you. Okay, so it is Friday. Um, I missed giving you an update yesterday. So I'm giving you an update before I start stitching today. I was only able to stitch during my dinner break yesterday when I was at work and I'm at work now. And this is my lunch break. And so this is where I got to yesterday. I added the rest of the gray and the tail and I started the big tulip that is above that tail. And that took me about a half hour's worth of work to do, which leaves me at four hours and I think 43 minutes, which means I need to only do about 15 more minutes to finish getting to the five hours that I was trying to get to for my challenge. And I think I'll be able to do that during this lunch break. And I'll show you what I get to at the end. So this is my update for Thursday. 
and I will show you where I get to at the end of my five hours. All right, thanks for joining me. Hi everyone. So I made it, it's Saturday morning and I did it. I made it from Monday through Friday without scrolling and I put instead cross stitch into the time I spent on my week scrolling. So I made it to a total of five hours, 15 minutes and 47 seconds. I had scrolled for five hours the previous week on Instagram and Facebook. Those were the two apps that I counted for this challenge. Um, they're the two social media sites I spend the most time on. Um, and so why did I do this? I did it because I wanted to see if scrolling was having an effect on my mood, if it was having an effect on my time. And if I substituted cross stitching in, could I actually get more cross stitching in my life, which I totally enjoy by spending my time cross stitching instead of scrolling. And so first of all, let me show you where I got to. Again, this is the chart that I was doing. You've seen it many times at this point. And this is where I got to in a total of five hours and 15 minutes. So I don't know if you think this is good, average, a lot, not a lot um, in terms of progress. Um, I feel pretty good about the progress. Cross stitching is not a fast craft if you are not a cross stitcher. This will probably look like, wow, you really didn't do a lot. But um, cross stitchers know it takes a little time to cross stitch. So um, I, I feel good about what I got done. Um, and I got a nice start on this chart and feel very engaged in this chart and wanna continue working on it. I happen to love this series of charts. So some things I got out of this challenge that I wanted to share with you are, um, well, first of all, was it hard? So um, I didn't find it particularly hard to not scroll during the week um, in general. But I found that I kept, there's like muscle memory in my, when I pick up my phone, I check my email and then I go to Instagram automatically. So I found myself tapping those buttons um, and then I'd realize, oh no, you're not supposed to tap that button and I'd have to, you know, close the app. I never scrolled once, I never looked at it a post or a story or anything. I had no trouble at all not even tapping on Facebook. I tap on Facebook when I'm bored. And so I never felt bored, never felt the need to, to tap on Facebook. Um, so it wasn't necessarily hard, but I missed Instagram. I missed keeping up with my uh, friends that I have on Instagram, following what they do and seeing what they're producing and liking their posts, commenting on their posts, um, sometimes having a little bit of a conversation in the DMs. Um, I also felt like I missed out on um, any news um, in the cross stitch community. That's where people will post new things that are going on, um, new sales, new um, releases, just new information comes out on Instagram. And I feel like I missed out on anything new and I'm not informed. Um, so I missed the social connection and I missed the information access 
even to the point of like, um, sometimes when I'm on Instagram, I learn quicker about world news than I do if I am not on Instagram. Um, just general world news. So like, I feel, I feel like I missed out on learning about some things quicker than if I was just, you know, spending my regular day. Um, the cross stitching itself, I found very soothing, um, as opposed to scrolling. So like, I have a lot of anxiety and I know a lot of you do. I know you understand this. Cross stitching is a soothing activity. It feels creative, it feels productive, it feels engaging, and it's very therapeutic. So the act of cross stitching feels good. It was very soothing. But I did not like timing myself. That was extremely stressful to me. I didn't like knowing I had to cross stitch for a certain amount of time, um, or that, uh, honestly, I didn't like only having a certain amount of time to cross stitch. This was especially true after work because I have very little time after work when I get home to do anything extra. And um, so I found like, the amount of time I spend scrolling after work mustn't be, I must spend more time during the day scrolling because I found trying to fit in the cross stitch time after work extremely hard and it was unsatisfying to only have a few minutes to cross stitch. Even if it was a half hour, that didn't feel like enough time after work. I also found it hard on my eyes later in the day to cross stitch. I don't usually cross stitch at night. And so I found it harder on my eyes to do at night. Um, my ideal way to cross stitch is to have as much time as I want to spend cross stitching and do what I want to do. Um, as I've mentioned, I'm a moody stitcher, so I like to be able to do what I want to do, when I want to do it, for however long I want to do it. But I actually found that my stitching at work during my lunch and dinner breaks was super helpful to me, even though that is a limited time. I have to eat my lunch or dinner and then cross stitch. I felt like it was this mini vacation during my work day that I got to spend doing something I love. Like it totally took me out of being at work. And um, so when it comes to um, would I keep cross stitching throughout the day, Monday through Friday. I think I will keep cross stitching at work during my lunch and dinner breaks um, and not scrolling during lunch. Um, I find that the mental engagement, the cognitive engagement of scrolling versus stitching is different and I don't know if you feel that too stitching is engaging in a way that makes me feel totally brought into a productive creative um like moment scrolling makes me feel connected to other people and it's fun but it's not mentally engaging in the same way and I get more satisfaction on my dinner and lunch break from that mental vacation that I get. Now 
um, it's easier to scroll. Getting started, if you're somebody who has trouble getting started doing things, the friction to getting started stitching is worse than the friction to scroll. There's virtually no friction to starting to scroll. You pick up your phone, you click on the app, you're scrolling. It's easy. It's very immediately satisfying, immediate gratification. Stitching requires you thinking about having to stitch, what you're going to stitch, whether you have the right threads. Did I bring my scissors? Um, where am I gonna work on the chart? Threading the needle, starting, counting, following the chart. There's a lot of friction. It doesn't, if you like cross stitching, this is not something that you don't enjoy, but there's a lot of friction to it. It keeps you from starting if you have trouble starting things. So it is much easier to scroll in free time than it is to pick up your cross stitch. So um, I think I will keep up stitching during my lunch and dinner breaks throughout the week when I'm at work. I don't think I will stitch after work. I did not enjoy it. It felt really rushed. I did not feel like I made progress that I was satisfied with. It didn't feel, um, it didn't feel good. So I'm not going to continue that. Um, I did enjoy the Wednesday morning when I woke up early and had extra time. I did enjoy that stitching. So that might be something that makes another um, appearance in my life is that Wednesday morning stitching. I don't know if you can see, but the puppy has joined us again. He keeps making a lot of appearances in this video. He really likes you guys now. He keeps wanting to say hello. So I wanna thank you so much for going on this journey with me. Would I recommend this to you? I would recommend to you just investigating your screen time. If you will have a phone where you can turn on your screen time and see how many times a day you're picking up your phone, what apps you're using, and how many hours you're spending on your phone, a day. It's useful information. It's shocking information in some ways. Um, I don't think we should judge ourselves for our screen time, but if you feel like you want to see if you can use your time um, differently, if you feel like you're not gaining benefits from scrolling and you want to try something else, then give this a try. Figure out how much time you're spending scrolling. Delete the app. I'm actually going to delete Facebook off of my phone. I find that I don't use it for anything useful or productive. So I'm going to delete Facebook off of my phone um, and just keep Instagram. So um, give it a try, see how you feel, and then reassess, you know, give yourself a chance to see what your mood feels like when you change from scrolling. I mean, I found that stitching brought me more inner joy than scrolling does, but the social connection of, the, of Instagram also brings me joy and I don't want to miss out on that. So I'm not going to give up scrolling totally. Um, so I'll be interested to see in the next couple weeks what my screen time looks like, see if there's any differences in the uh, number of hours I spend on Instagram. Um, but thank you again for joining me. I really hope that um, I've inspired you to try something new and um, I really enjoyed seeing what I could do this week and having you there to encourage me in my head and um, for accountability. So thank you so much and have a great week. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.